Tuesday is the first day of kindergarten at the Ralph Talbot School in Weymouth. That's a big deal for many families, even if their five-year-olds have already been to preschool. Will the kids learn everything they need to know in kindergarten? They'll be well on their way if teacher Julie Igo and their parents have anything to do with it. Last week there was an orientation program for the children and their parents at the Talbot, and in less than an hour they covered a lot of ground. These kids are like sponges. They absorb everything, Igo told the parents. They nodded their heads in agreement. And this is Igo, for all of you who don't know me. Oh, no Basically, my, oh, I, work so them. Awesome. I work them hard. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I try to get the most out of them that I possibly can. I'll never push them beyond their means, but I like their sponges. So I have a high academic class. Um, it's nice. My group is so much smaller this year than last year. I have seven less than I did last year. So I can actually hopefully do all those things that I had to eliminate last year. So I'm looking forward to having smaller numbers. Always be their homework so you'll know what they have for the night. It's never anything big. I do this poem. Um, it's a poetry called Fast Start. Some of you have seen it, some of you have not seen it. It's basically a poem, and you might think the things are really silly that you do with them, but I'll tell you, most of my kids can read by the end of the year because of the help I get at home with the parents with this program. They start off with Itsy Bitsy Spider. You're going to be like, oh, you know how many kids have not heard Itsy Bitsy Spider? It frightens me. They don't hear them anymore. So it gives you all these little activities to do around the poem to help your child learn their letters, learn their sounds, so that by the end of the year, we're blending and we're putting them all together. So your help, it takes 10 minutes. You don't have to do the poem every night because it can get monotonous, I do know that. Two to three times is fabulous. The other homework is if you choose not to do it at night, just read. That's the most important thing you can do with your child is to read to them. Um, there's a little, there's going to be a little tip packet when you're reading with your child, the best things to do to help your child learn to read themselves. And then we're going to go find your favorite kind of paper and then the letter of your name and you get to decorate it. And I have a friend back there who is looking for a buddy to sit with. Okay. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger. For more coverage, see tomorrow's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to patriotledger.com. Grace, you're the first one here. Did Mommy take it?